Hey YouTube, it's your boy E7 here. So in this video I'm going to show you guys how to get the fully working PlayStation emulator and games working on your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch running iOS 11 through to the latest 11.2.1 and above. All you need is an iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch running iOS 11 plus, a computer and a Wi-Fi connection. Now you could do this all from the device if you have files are installed but I want to future proof this and I want anyone that updated past 11.1.2 also get in on the action. So you can use my uh, directions and do it from files but I'm going to make this universal. Universal. So just copy exactly as I do and let's just jump straight in. Okay, so all the links are in the description in order that I'm showing you. Once again, no jailbreak is needed. So the first port of call is Tweakbox. When you come to this link, if you get the advert that takes over the screen, just clear Safari data, come back to it, hit the X to clear the ad apps and scroll down till you see Tweakbox apps and scroll down for the new provenance. There it is, provenance, tap on that, install, hit install on the pop-up and that will go to your own screen. Magic, once that's downloaded, final app we need, we get from the App Store, search and type in documents. And the one you want is that one there, documents by Riedel. Okay, so once we've got provenance and documents, we can move on to the BIOS. So in the description next to BIOS download, it'll bring you here. We need 5500, 5501, 5502. Okay, so first let's do it in order. 5500, tap on the 5500 and wait for it to load and it will automatically allow you to open it in documents. Okay, so because it wants to open in files, up, we'll just hit more and then tap on document. Yeah, okay, it doesn't matter that it doesn't understand what it is. Scroll later and there's our SCPH BIOS. So now let's go back and get 5501. 5501 next. Open in documents. Back to Safari. Final one. 5502. Open in documents. Magic. So now we have the three BIOSes we need. Okay, so before we can import these BIOS, we need to make sure they're renamed. Everything needs to be in lowercase, the SCP hate, then the four digit, then dot bin, all need to be in lowercase. So let's start with 5500, hit the dots icon, rename, put the cursor in just behind the first number and delete the SCP H and put that back in lowercase and the dot bin. Okay, so you've got the SCP H, four digits, dot bin, lowercase. Done. Next one, let's do 5501 dots, rename SCPH. And last up, 5502, hit the dots, rename. So now we need to open up provenance, standard third party procedure applies. We need to go to settings, general and profiles device management and find the profile it resides in. There is provenance, you'd hit trust, trust again, and now we can launch provenance. Once that's launched, I want you to then go back to documents, leave provenance open, and then on the 5500, hit the dots, and I want you to do it one by one. Don't get all three and then put them in, do it one by one as I'm showing you. So 5500, share, provenance. Kill the ad. Okay, so once it's gone in, I want you to hit settings on each one that you put in and refresh. Yes, done. Okay, keep it open to the next 5501 dots share provenance settings refresh last one 5502 oops dots share provenance and then settings refresh so now we've set the emulator up to accept and play playstation games that's it, we're all set to go, we just need to put the ROMs in, so let's go to the computer. Okay guys, so in the description where it says PlayStation ROMs, it'll bring you here, you can search alphabetically or by popular choices. I'm gonna choose Crash, tap on the game you want, follow the orange link, download link, tap that, and then it will have your game with download next to it in orange again. Scroll a little way down, and it may at this point ask you to verify that you're not a bot and type in the words that you see on the screen, and then just hit download again. So once the game's downloaded, it will look like this, you'll have it in a zip. Any zip software will do. You can right click and extract here or do it the old fashioned way, double click into it and drag the paper files. So once the paper files are out, you'll, it will most likely be a .bin and a .q or an ISO and an accompanying file or a .img and an accompanying file. It doesn't matter, whatever comes out of the zip for the game, those are the paper files we're gonna use. So now we're gonna go back to the device. So we're just gonna open up provenance, settings, and we are gonna activate the import export ROMs. Tap that, get the directory, http colon forward slash forward slash, whatever it shows you, that is what you're going to type into the URL to access the inside. Okay, so copy the URL, tap go, and that will get you into provenance. So now I need you to create a folder. We are on the home stretch, and I want you to name that folder 
com.provenance.psx and I'll have this in the description you can copy and paste it create the folder and you've got it there com.provenance.psx tap into that and upload file and the paper files that you took out of the game of the zip those are the ones that you're going to put in so we'll do the queue first and then we'll upload the bin be patient and make sure that you see the file in the actual folder before you disconnect and switch off the server okay so once the files in my case bin and q have been imported into the folder we created com.provenance.psx we are good to go but as we're already here i can do a quick refresh so we go back it's a good idea to check the bios go into your bios and make sure that the three that we put in at the start are there if they're not then replay the first step so we can go back to the device and play the game okay so we can hit stop on the server and before we play the game we obviously want to refresh game library yes done and there's our game tap it if you ever want to save hit the menu drop disk save load plays real fluid especially on the X so that's how to do it of course if you do have the luxury of files that you can do it all from the device but I wanted to incorporate this method so it it's universal it's for everyone even if you updated past 11.1.2 so guys thanks for watching it's your boy D7 as always don't forget to rate comment subscribe and I'll catch you guys real soon